Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing an anterior chain workout. We did the posterior chain earlier this week, so we worked the entire back of the body. Now we're going to work the whole front of the body. That's the quads, we're going to be working the core, we're going to be working the chest, and the biceps. So I have 15 pound weights and 20 pound weights. We're going to do the same circuit style format where we have three separate rounds within the one bigger circuit, and we're going to go through the whole thing three times. The 12, the 10, and the 8, the same exact format, just a different side of the body. So we're going to get started with a good warm-up. To get started, you're either going to give me high knees or you're just going to march. Like with the workout from the other day, not extremely cardio-intensive, but you definitely will be sweating because you are using those heavier weights and you are continuing to move throughout the entire workout. There's very few breaks, there's very few longer periods of rest. So you're basically just moving. Now, butt kicks. We're just work stretching through that quad. So for the warm up, what we're doing is we're warming up each muscle and then briefly stretching them that we're gonna be working throughout this workout. So we're starting with the quads, obviously. Doesn't feel like your biceps, does it? It shouldn't. I don't know what you do, are doing right now, but it feels like you're working your biceps. Okay. Now just hold and head into a normal quad stretch, holding your foot behind you. We're only gonna hold 15 seconds each side. We'll do a longer hold at the end and switch legs. And just like with the workout earlier this week, whoop, I want you to really be focusing on strength and feeling the contraction with each movement. I don't want you to be rushing. I don't want you to feel like you have to keep up with my pace. Now, we're just gonna lunge side to side. I don't want you to feel like you have to keep up with my pace. I'll tell you where I'm at so that you know where we're heading next. But by no means do you have to be doing what I'm doing. That goes for all the workouts that I post. If you feel like my pace is too slow or too fast, feel free to go at your own pace. Now come down, push-ups on the knees, warm up through the chest. Make sure you're really getting through your full range of motion. That's why I'm down on my knees. Now stretch through that chest. You can turn side to side if that feels comfortable for you. Make your way back up. And you're going to stretch the side body and stretch the other side. Moving from side to side. And now make your way down onto the mat. We're gonna head into some slow bicycles to activate the core. Twist, twist. Make sure you're really twisting and you're really feeling it. You don't have to be moving quickly here. We're trying to activate and stretch each muscle. Get yourself back up to standing. Give me a few jumping jacks. You can also be doing these. This works just as well for me. Three, two, one. Give me some big arm circles to the front. Stretching through those shoulders, because as you know, when weights are involved, a lot of times 
you are activating through those shoulders, even if it's not specifically targeting them. Circle through the wrists, either in front of you or together like this. Last 15 seconds, give me a few more of those jumping jacks. Step, step. Whichever way you want to do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job everybody. Now we're going to be headed into our first round. And our moves are going to be walking lunges, panther shoulder taps, push-ups, and hammer curls. So for our first move, walking lunges, you want to do 12 repetitions on each leg. So it's 24 in total. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if you want, you can try them backwards, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, make sure that you're getting both legs as close to 90 degrees as possible, 20, 21, 22, 23, last one, 24, and up. Shoulder taps in this panther position. One, one, two, two, three, three. Keep those knees levitating. Keep that core engaged. Try not to sway too much to either side. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Now, give me 12 good push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, take 15 seconds rest. Stand up, do whatever you have to do. Our next move is gonna be a wall sit. So find a good spot. The first one we're holding for 45 seconds and start. If you want to add the weight, you can. You don't have to. The weight is just for a little bit of extra resistance. You will feel it either way, I promise you. The closer you have your legs to 90 degrees, the more pressure and work that you're going to be getting out of your quads. Make sure to keep your back pressed up against the wall. Make sure you're looking forward. Make sure that your feet haven't slid too far forward. In three, two, one, and stand. Now we're gonna head into wood chops. You're gonna pick up a weight. One, two, three, Four, five, six. 
switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, last one, six, make your way down. We're going to do 12 chest presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Make your way back to a standing position, in and out curls. One, two, three, four, Five, last one, six, 30 seconds rest, 15 seconds actually, Whew. 30 seconds rest next round, stretch forward, our next move is going to be curtsy lunges, so pick up the appropriate weight for you, and go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, last one on this side, 12, 1, 2, to make it harder, don't place that leg down at the top of the movement, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the chest up. Eleven, last one. Twelve. Make your way back onto your back for leg raises. You can put your hands under your butt. Lower. Lift, one, point the toes on the way up, flex the toes on the way down, make sure your lower back is staying pressed into the floor, this is six, Seven, only go as low as you can while keeping tension on those abs. Eight, you can lift your head if you want it to be harder. Nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Pick up those weights again. Chest fly. One. This time you're opening to the sides instead of pressing up. Making a big C shape with the arms. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, 10, keep going, 11, last one, 12, and bring yourself up and give me 12 hammer curls. Hammer curls, the weights are facing up towards the ceiling. From the side, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. Great job, everyone. Now we have a minute's rest. Whew, that's the end of circuit number one. We're gonna do it two more times, but each time our reps are falling by a little bit. This next round, everything is gonna be moved down two reps, so 10. Or for different things, if it's a hold, like the wall sit, we'll be doing it for 35 seconds. Whew. If we drop that by two, it wouldn't make all that much of a difference. 43, 45, at that point you can hold it two more seconds, right? So for this next round, really make sure I'm breathing in when you're contracting and breathing out as you're lengthening the muscles. That's your focus for the whole next round, moving slowly and mindfully with your breath. So we're headed back to the start with those walking lunges. This time it's 10 per leg, so 20 in total. I'm gonna give myself plenty of room and begin. One, two, three. Reverse if you'd like, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you are having a difficult time standing up in between lunges, try taking smaller steps. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. Panther shoulder taps. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, where is that breathing? Nine, 10, halfway done. Keep going. Make sure you're really focusing on that breath. It helps you to contract your muscles properly when you're breathing. Three, two, one, push-ups. 10 push-ups. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bicep curls. Give me 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Fifteen seconds rest. 
Stretch through the arms, move whichever way, makes it easier for you to keep going. Whew. Grab that weight, find that wall, get down and hold. Whew. This time we're only holding for 35 seconds. So try to make sure that you're nice and low, that your back is pressed, that your legs are as close to 90 degrees as you can get them, and that you're breathing. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Five wood chops on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch the leg that's forward. For these wood chops, the goal is to rotate through the torso, through the abdominals. Three, four, last one, five, bring it down for that chest press. Ten. Try to get those dumbbells to come up at the same time. Three, two, last one, one. In and out curls. Five ins, five outs. And go. One. Two, three, you're so close, four, last one, five, 15 seconds rest. Now you may have noticed on that last one that I stepped one foot forward. That's because I started to notice that I was curving through my lower back and putting too much pressure. If you notice that, all you have to do, take one foot and step it forward. Curtsy lunges, 10 per side. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're stepping far enough back that you're able to get low. One more on this side. One. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. This time, point on the way down, flex on the way up. Make sure you're breathing. 
That lower back should always be in contact with the floor. Two more. Last one. Sit up to get those weights for your chest fly. I don't know where you, about where you guys are, but it's super humid today here. Oh, I can feel it. 10 chest flies, bringing those weights open until your arms are in a C and then coming back together. This glute bridge is optional. I just find that it helps me to engage my chest better. Three, two, one. Make your way to standing. 10 hammer curls. One, two, three, try not to rock. Four, five, six, go all the way down and all the way up. Seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, one minute rest. Then we're on our last round. We're everything, we're only going for eight reps per side or cutting down how many seconds we're holding. For this last round, I really want you to push yourself and give it everything that you have. Whether that means pumping up the weight, going into a real push-up if you normally just do push-ups on your knees, doing a little bit lower wall sit, really just pushing yourself, challenging yourself for the last round. This is it. Leave it all out there. You know the exercises. You've done them twice now. You know it's going to feel comfortable. Now make yourself feel a little bit uncomfortable. Not pain, but a little discomfort goes a long way. Pick up those weights. You see I'm challenging myself. Please challenge yourself as well. This time we're doing 16 walking lunges. Begin. To make it harder, try not to step down in between with the opposite leg. Six down already. Halfway done. Four more. One, two, three, last one, four. Panther shoulder taps. Go. Keep that core engaged. Push ups. Just eight. Try them up on your feet. round. Grab that weight. 
Make it back into your wall sit. And we're holding this one again for that 45 seconds. We're trying to burn out those legs, burn out through the chest and biceps. And things like isometric holds, like we're doing with this wall sit, where we're consistently contracting our muscles through the entire exercise are a great way to burn out the muscles at the end. 15 more seconds. Keep holding. Think about your breath. Think about why you're here. Think about how far you've come already. Three, two, one. Come up to standing. Four wood chops on each side. One, two, three, four. Switch legs. One, two, three. Last one, four. Make your way down onto the back. Last round of chest presses. I'm gonna go heavy because I know that I can. Do whatever's within your capability. Give me eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Make your way up to standing. Give me eight bicep curls, but this time you're only going to do them to the side. One, two, keep the elbows glued in to the rib cage. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, drop those weights. Oh, we're so close. Last round, eight curtsy lunges per side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, keep going, seven, eight. Get down on the floor. We're so close, everyone. Light raises. This time you're gonna go slow, slow, slow. Hold, two, one, up. We're giving a little isometric contraction at the end. Two, one, up, that's three, four, five, we're so close everyone, keep pushing, six, keep breathing, seven, eight, Grab those weights. I'm gonna go heavy. Eight chest flies. One, two, three, four, five. See, happy music, because we're almost done. Six. Seven, 
Last one, hold three, two, one, eight. Make your way up to standing. We have eight hammer curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, put those weights down. Give me high knee marches. Now we're cooling down. You can move slow. Now we're just getting the last bit of lactic acid out. We're slowing down our heart rate. We're cooling ourselves off. Three, two, one, butt kicks. Oh, that felt great. And that's another way that you can arrange your workouts. I know you hear a lot of chest and triceps, back and biceps, but if you don't like that arrangement, this is just another example. Two, one, oh, quad stretch. Very well-deserved quad stretch. And you see, it doesn't take a ton to fatigue our muscles. Each time, in, in total, we did 30 reps for each move or each side, depending. Switch legs. And I don't know about you, but everything that we worked on me is pretty exhausted. And if you like this style workout, if you like this format, like I said earlier, I have a whole posterior chain. So that's the hamstrings, the glutes, the back, and the triceps that I posted earlier this week. And that's a great way, lean side to side, where if you only have two days to strength train, you're still getting everything in each week. You're not leaving any muscle out. You're not gonna have any muscle dominance or muscles that are lagging behind because people tend to enjoy working out certain parts of their body more than others. Now just stay on one side. So what happens from that, if you like working out certain parts of your body more than others, is you're gonna have certain muscles that are very strong, other side, and certain muscles that are very weak. So if you're someone that loves doing squats, but doesn't work your hamstrings a lot, you're gonna have quad dominance, and you're gonna have a lot of problems because that's not very good for your knees. Whew. Make your way down. Slow push-ups on the knees. Very slow. Feel the muscles working as you go up and down. Two, one. Now I want you to sit back on your heels. Just stretch out through those feet. Press down through those hands, look up at the ceiling, your chest, stretch out through your chest. Now come off of those heels, and if you'd like, you can come back into a child's pose while still doing that chest stretch. Come up. Sit down. Stretch through the side. Feel that nice stretch going all the way up that side body. And now is a great time to do some thinking, to thank yourself, to appreciate the good parts that you have without being so overly critical of yourself. Give me some shoulder rolls to the back. Reach up, pull down, stretching through those arms. 
that's why I posted another video called What's Your Why? And even if you don't watch it, I really do suggest that you start to think about why is it that you're exercising? What's your main motivation that gets you here every day? Is it because you have a certain goal that you're working towards? Is it because you want to see certain changes in your body? Is it because of how it makes you feel? Because when you have that why that you know that you're working towards, whenever you're roll through the wrists, whenever you're feeling a little bit defeated as you're working out, let's say, you have that to come back to. Stretch through your wrist, other way. So you're able to tell yourself, no, I'm doing the right thing, even if it may be more challenging than usual, even if I don't feel like I'm getting the same level Maybe you're not lifting the same amount that you used to or that you usually are able to. You still shouldn't beat yourself up. You made it here. You put the effort in. Oh, now stretch through those biceps. Lean back into those arms. I know that especially after this pregnancy, I spent a lot of time beating myself up for what I wasn't able to do rather than being appreciative of A, what my body had already done, but B, all the progress that I was making. Okay. I want you to come into the center of your mat and take a few deep breaths. Inhale as deep as you can, hold for a few seconds at the top, and exhale. We're going to do one minute of breathing, just focusing on yourself. I think it's really important. Go ahead when you're ready. your last round of breath. I really would suggest if you don't already meditate or have some sort of breathing practice, I think that as a cool down or at the end of your workout is a great time to just incorporate it. You're already on your mat. You already need to calm your heart rate. It's already there. You can already feel your heart beating. And it's a time where after doing so much movement, you've gotten all your energy out. So it may be a little bit easier to focus on your breathing to come into your body than it usually is when you have a million things going through your head. I think that's a great time. So thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. I'll be posting plenty more. And if, you, if there's anything that you like or if there's anything that you want to see, please let me know. I'm very open to suggestions. Thank you guys so much. This is Kat, as always, strong, not skinny. See you guys soon.